Besides Mario Kart, racing games on the Switch are few and far between. So when I got a code in my inbox for Asphalt 9 Legends, I was pretty excited to check it out. Yes, I did play the game at E3, but like most E3 demos, you have to take that with a grain of salt because so much can change in a few months from demo to release. And like most mobile games that come over to the Switch, it's hit or miss, mostly miss. Asphalt 9 Legends is really good. Visually, this game is on par with a Nintendo first party game. The cars and tracks look stunning, and even when there's so much going on with weather, mud, crashes, everything like that, the frame rate never dipped. The sense of speed in this game is on par with something like Forza or even Mario Kart. And all the licensed cars look great, even though some of them are extremely limited with customization, which most likely is just a manufacturer thing. So how does it play? Asphalt 9 is one of the fastest racers on the Switch, and quite frankly, I'd say it's even quicker than Mario Kart. Since it is originally a mobile game, the races tend to last about one to two minutes, and it does have a definite burnout feel to it, which is never a bad thing. It did feel a little weird not having to hold an acceleration button the whole time, but you get over that pretty quick. And quite frankly, I wish more arcade racers like this did that. You generate boost by drifting, doing tricks in air, or just hitting these little boost pods. And your nitro turns into a rhythm type game. So if you hit it in purple, you get really fast, you can kill everyone in front of you, or if you hit it blue, you're pretty quick, and if you hit anything else, it's kind of worthless. The maps are super crazy and really interesting, and quite frankly, I really liked all of them. They're silly, they're fun, they all explode, everything breaks, everything gets in your way. If you crash and get destroyed, you come back in within a couple seconds, and races are just really fun. I couldn't tell if there was rubber banding, but it did seem like if I was in sixth place, I can get up pretty quick. The enemy AI goes from really stupid to way too aggressive. But the best part of this game is the local and online multiplayer. Online multiplayer is about what you'd expect from a Switch game, but that's not bad. For a game this short and this fast, it's kind of nice to be able to play other humans. On the other hand, with local multiplayer, this is surprisingly one of the Switch's best couch co-op games since Smash Bros. It's easy to pick up, and even if my car was at a clear disadvantage, I never found myself just getting smoked by someone else. So let's talk about monetization. Like all mobile games, there's an in-game currency that's really easy to get, and a hard currency that's a little bit more difficult to get. But it isn't that hard to get it. When it comes to getting the hard currency, the game's pretty liberal about it. By just completing matches, you tend to earn some. Usually it's five tokens here or there, but after a while that adds up and you get a free pack every single four hours, so you're never going without. There's two ways to unlock new cards. One is by playing the game, and the other one is by buying packs. Either way, you're opening up card packs, and you're gaining more cards to unlock a certain car. Then you gain more cards to unlock upgrades to the cards to star them up. It really isn't that difficult though. Full disclosure, the developer sent me a code that gave me a bunch of hard currency, but as someone who played the mobile game for years, I never really found myself needing to spend money on this. Maybe a dollar or two here and there, but I never really looked at the $99 option and thought, yeah, I need that. But keep in mind, if you are someone that has bad tendencies when it comes to microtransactions, maybe be careful with this one. It's not bad, but it's not amazing. Visually, this game is stunning, and it's probably one of the best looking games on the Switch that isn't made by Nintendo. I mostly played the game on a Switch Lite, and I never really saw a frame rate dip. Even when there's way too much going on screen, such as rain, mud, crashes, and other cars, it never really slowed down. To be totally honest, this is one of the few games on the Switch where I really have a hard time finding a problem. Yeah, it's free to play, and yeah, you do have to spend money if you want to get cars right now, but if you're just playing this in short bursts, or want a burnout game on the go, it's really hard to say no to Asphalt, because quite frankly, this is one of the best racers on the Switch. And this being a pretty popular free-to-play mobile game means that there's going to be a lot more content coming in the future. Just watch out for that windmill. It ain't stopping.